Yeah, they, they fly around. They're pretty fast. Uh, you know, they, they're big and talented, uh, but also some wiggle to them. Uh, and that's what you look for in a pass rusher is the big strength, um, you know, with that flexibility and the elusiveness. So they're definitely a good, a good front. Um, but, you know, we have, a, we have a solid offensive line that we've been working with all year that, uh, you know, we're working hard to, to compete with it. Mm-hmm. Just the, the threat of AJ and Bailey on play action, is that kind of the key to freezing them and giving yourself a, a few extra seconds? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, I think the key to play action is, you know, to, to keep them guessing and keep them uh, you know, on, their, on their heels a little bit. Um, it's when you get in that uh, second and long, third and long, that they can pin their ears back and come. So that's what we're trying to avoid. As you've grown with game experience, are you starting to recognize the things as you're stepping into center to what you're looking for? Yeah, I mean, each game is you know more and more comfortable, and it's it's you know kind of amazing just to look back and to see um, you know the growth that I can recognize and to just walk out there and feel comfortable with it now and to feel like I see everything and I'm, I'm under control with everything. Um, so, it, but it's pretty impressive to see you know the growth week by week and just how one game at a time can can really up the confidence levels. Okay. You kind of got robbed of a bowl game last year. Is that kind of playing it into any effect that you want to get that sixth win and, and go somewhere in December? Yeah, I mean, it definitely pl- plays a little factor in the back of our minds. But, you know, we're focused on this year and, you know, we're doing whatever it takes to get that sixth win. That's the mindset in the locker room. Um, you know, whatever it takes to go out there and get that win this weekend. Your coach Adazio has always stressed that the, the key to bo- the best thing about bowl eligibility is that 15 days of practice in December. Mm-hmm. I was just wondering, did that play a, l- a little bit in your development uh, last year? Or? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it, it's pretty, um, you know, it's pr- extremely valuable actually to get those extra 15 practices, to get the young guys reps and to get them you know, valuable um, snaps when, you know, throughout the year there might be a scout team or might be getting a limited amount. Um, so it's big for them to get in and get, you know, cr- create their game to a higher level. Um, and it also give, you know, give the older guys some rest and some time to recover and then come out and get ready for a full game. So. It all, it all plays into it. It's really valuable for the program, for the organization as a whole, regardless of the bowl, but also just as a skill level within the, within the team. It's pretty impressive and pretty valuable. Well, and that guy right over there, I was going to be your last question. Uh, just, uh, I mean, he's seen hybrids, he's seen bull rushes. Uh, mm-hmm. How's he been protecting your blind side? And yeah, you know, he does. He was sacks yeah, in the league. Right, yeah. He does a heck of a job uh, behind me. I trust him with everything I got. Um, you know, he's a heck of a guy to compete with, to run out there with every week. Um, you know, from a personal level, you know, he's an extremely hard worker. Um, very detailed, very physical. Um, you know, loves to be out there and you know mess around with the guys. When it comes down to, to crunch time, he's the guy that you want. You know, that has your back. Um, he's done a heck of a job with that. And I could be happier to have him on the blind side.